Welcome to practice. In today's class, we will be moving relatively quickly, opening our heart and hip area. This class is for rather advanced yogis, so if you've never done yoga before, you might still want to give it a try. Otherwise, have fun, enjoy yourself, and as always, listen to your body. Find your feet hip distance apart in a Tadasana mountain pose. Lift your toes up, tuck your tailbone under, activate your thighs, press your feet into the mat, tuck the belly in, roll the shoulders up to the ears and lower them back down. Find that soft gaze and start listening to your breath. Inhale deeply into the nose. Exhale softly out of the mouth. Good. One more deep breath into the nose. Exhale, release through your mouth. Find a focus point. And then with an inhale, lift your arms up. On an exhale, lower the palms back down. Inhale, let your arms rise. On an exhale, slowly lower them back down. Inhale, let your palms rise up once more, synchronizing movement with breath. On an exhale, lower it back down to Tadasana. Inhale, reach your hands towards your heart, make fists and start rolling your wrists around into the one direction and then into the other direction, warming up your wrists here, extending your arms forward, rolling your wrists out once more, making sure they're nice and warm, changing directions. And then maybe even giving your wrists a little further stretch, stretching your four fingers towards you and your thumb. And then changing hands, stretching your four fingers off the left side as well as your thumb. Good. Giving your hands a little shake, shaking your wrists nice and warm. Good. And then come back to your Tadasana. On an inhale, reach your arms up to Udva Hastasana. On an exhale, hold both of your elbows. Inhale, open your heart space. On an exhale, roll over to the right side, through center and over to the left. Inhale, open up your heart. Exhale, roll it to the left, through center, over to the right. Good. One more time. Inhale, open. Exhale, roll it to the right through center, over to the left. Inhale, open. Exhale, roll it to the other side. Really, really good. On an inhale, open. On an exhale, roll. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, roll it over to the right. Inhale, open. Reach your arms up. On an exhale, bow forward, leading with the heart. Maybe find a slight bend in your knees. Inhale, lift your heart halfway. On an exhale, step it into plank and lower it all the way down through Chaturanga arms. Inhale, Udva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, roll over your toes, find your downward facing dog. Good, feet are hip distance apart. Reach your tailbone all the way up towards the sky. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Find your breath. And your knees look forward. Step or float your feet in between your hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold deeply at the hips. Inhale, reach your arms up. Come all the way to standing. Exhale, hold your elbows, roll it over to the right, through center to the left. Inhale, arch your spine, exhale, roll it over. Inhale, release your hands all the way down, fold forward. Good. 
Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, step or float through your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, find your down dog for three long breaths. Release your head heavy. Soften your shoulders. Good. And then look forward, bend your knees, step or float your feet up. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold at the hips. Inhale, Udva Hastasana. Exhale, Tadasana. Interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, reach your hands away from your chest. On an exhale, fold deeply. On an inhale, release your hands into half lift. Exhale, step or jump through a vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Release your right leg all the way up into a three-legged dog. Inhale here. Exhale, open up the leg. And then start drawing a big circle with that right knee moving deeply into your hip. Keep rolling your leg here, either staying here or flipping your dog, finding a wild thing. Lifting your heart to the sky, maybe start rolling a circle with that right arm. Good. And then prepare to come back through that side plank Vashistasana. Option here to stack your feet or find your toes on top of your knee. Good, placing the right hand back down. Inhale, lift up for your high lunge. Open up your chest here. Your back leg is strong and engaged. Inhale, reach your arms up. On an exhale, lower it back down. Inhale, reach your chest open. Exhale, place your hands in front of your heart. And then twist all the way over to the right side. Left elbow is on the outside of the right knee. Really press your chest open, making sure your back leg is still engaged. Option here to open up your arms or maybe even taking the bind and if it's okay for your neck, gaze up to the ceiling. Slowly releasing the twist, inhale for crescent lunge. On an exhale, open your hips for warrior two. Check your alignment, hips are open. Good, reach back for peaceful warrior. Take an inhale and on an exhale, straighten your front leg, shift forward for tree konasana. Grab hold of your big toes or your ankle and imagine there's a person behind you and you lean against that person. And then reach your left arm forward for extended trikonasana. That's how I like to call it. And then placing the hands down, frame the front foot. Lower down the back knee, shift onto the outside of the right foot. Lean back and move deeply into your hip, making sure that your heart stays lifted. Grabbing hold of the back leg, moving the foot closer towards your seat. Nice, release everything back down and then shift back for half splits, half Hanumanasana. Inhale, re-bend the front knee. Exhale, shift the hips back, lean over the front leg. Inhale, re-bend. Exhale, shift all the way back. Nice, inhale, re-bend and then swivel in the left leg. Lean back over your left shoulder. Inhale into that side stretch. On an exhale, strong core, shift all the way back up and lean over your right leg. Breathing deeply into that left side body. Good, reframing the front foot, step it into plank. 
Inhale for plank, maybe keeping the right leg lifted. Exhale, move through your vinyasa. Take your time. We all meet in downward facing dog. Catch your breath here for a moment. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Take a deep breath into the nose and an exhale out of the mouth. Look forward, bend your knees, step or float your feet up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeply at the hips. Inhale, reach your arms up to standing, Udva Hastasana. Exhale, grab hold of the elbow, sway over to the left side. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, roll through the left to the right side. Inhale, release your arms. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Lift them away from your chest and then fold deeply at the hips. Release the clasp of the hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or float through a vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take a little flow to the other side. So inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, open up the hip and start rolling out your knee. Either staying here or flipping your dog, lowering down the left foot and rolling your chest open for wild thing. Nice. Maybe even taking a big circle with that left arm, moving deeply into your shoulder. And then prepare to come back through Vashistasana, either stacking the leg or placing your left toes on top of your right knee. Strong, strong core here. Keep that balance and slowly step the left foot forward in between your hands. Rise up for crescent lunge. Deep breath in. On an exhale, lowering down your arms, opening up your chest. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, lower your arms back down. Inhale, reach them up once more. Exhale, lower them all the way back down. Good. And then placing both hands in front of your heart, twist over to the left side, either staying here, really pressing that right heel away from you. You do not want to have a bend in your knee here. Maybe opening up your arms or maybe even taking the bind behind your back. Choose your option and breathe deeply into your belly. Activate your digestive system here. Make the breath a little deeper. And then coming all the way back up for crescent lunge. And on an exhale, open up warrior two. Reach it back, find your peaceful warrior. Take a deep inhale and on an exhale, come back through center, extend the front leg, shift your torso forward and then flip down for Trikonasana. Grab hold of your big toes or your ankle, open up your heart towards the sky and then reaching that right arm over your shoulder. Good. Feel that side stretch. Catching your breath here. And then re-bending the front knee, lowering down the right knee. Roll onto the outside of the left foot. Show someone the room and reach your left arm all the way back. Relaxing your shoulders away from the ears. Grab hold of the back foot. Move it closer towards your seat. All the while breathing into your hip space. Nice. Bend your front knee. Take a deep breath in here. On an exhale, shift into half splits. Inhale, re-bend. Exhale, half Hanumanasana. Inhale. And exhale, shift back. 
Good. Inhale, come back to center. Swivel in the right foot. Extend the left leg and then reach it over towards the right side. Breathing deeply into your side body. Come back through center. Find that strong core and then lean over the extended front leg. Breathing deeply into your right arm. Good. Reframe the front foot. Step it back into plank, maybe keeping the left leg lifted. Move through your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. And on an exhale, lower down your knees and shift your heart down. Melt it towards the floor. Find your puppy pose. You can stay on your shin or on your forehead. I like to sway from side to side here just to get deeper into that shoulder opening. Breathing into your heart space. Good. And then shifting your hips all the way to your heels. Come sitting on your heels. On an inhale, let your torso rise up. And come standing on your knees. Making sure the hip distance apart. We come into a little camel dance here. So you place your left hand onto your left heel and reach your right arm over your heart. On an inhale, open up your heart. On an exhale, your right hand comes onto your right heel. Your left arm extends to the sky and back. Inhale, reach it forward and back over to the left side. Right arm comes all the way over your heart. Exhale, come back to center. Right hand on your right heel. Inhale, open. Exhale, move it over to the left side once more. Reach your right arm over your head. Exhale through center. Inhale, open. And then maybe staying here, find your Ustrasana camel pose. And if it's okay for your neck, lower your neck all the way down. Otherwise, please, please keep it extended. And in order to exit the pose, place both hands on your lower back, engage your core, extend your arms back, interlace your hands, roll forward onto your head and extend your arms away from you. And stay here for a few deep, deep breaths. Breathing in and out through your nose. From here, place both hands down onto the mat. Shift back to your downward facing dog. Release the head heavy. Relax your shoulders. Look forward. Bend your knees. Step or float your feet up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale for Udvahastasana. Exhale, find your Tadasana. Place your hands on your hips. Make a big step over to the right side. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, sit down, goddess pose. Your toes are pointing out in a 45 degree angle. Place your left hand on the inside of your left foot and reach your right arm over. Inhale back to center. Exhale, take it over to the right side. Nice. Inhale, come all the way back to center. Place your hands in front of your heart. And then extend your arms back up to the sky. Placing both hands in front of your heart once more. And then make your feet parallel. Interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, lift your chest. On an exhale, fold all the way down. Reaching that fist away from you. Relaxing down your head. And then releasing your hands. Place them in between your feet. Press yourself up for tripod headstand or stay where you are and keep working on opening up your hips. Please do not jump into tripod headstand, but even if you don't want to come into it yet, you can play with placing more weight into your head and into your hands. Start shifting your weight. If you were in tripod headstand, slowly come back down. 
And from here, slide your feet out, slowly lower down your seat for a wide straddle. Flex your feet. And then give yourself a little massage on your legs, giving your thighs a little gentle touch. Reaching your left arm over and your right arm over your head. Move it over to the right side, lifting your left arm over your ear. Keep engaging your core here. Come all the way back to center. And then maybe find your swim through or walk your way back onto your seat. If you do not have the swim through in your practice, you can also just shift your legs forward, find your way into seated position, walk your feet closer in, grab hold underneath your knees, and then extend the legs up into the sky while keeping the shoulder blades close together. You can also flex your feet here and then lower it down for low boat on an exhale and shift your feet back up on an inhale. Exhale to lower, inhale to come up, and then slowly lower all the way down, give yourself a nice long stretch, and roll over onto your side, shifting the right arm out, bending the right knee, coming to a yummy, yummy, nice heart opener here. Good, and then roll it over onto the left side, extending out the left arm, bending the right knee. Find that sweet spot where it's a nice shoulder opener for you. Maybe it looks different in your body than in mine. Just try and find that spot where it feels really good for you. And then slowly, slowly come all the way back down onto your back. And prepare for bridge pose here. So your fingers should be touching your heels. Lift your hips up, walk your shoulder blades together, interlace your hands, keep reaching your shin away from your chest. And if you want to come into full wheel here, prepare your arms next to your ears and then shift forward. Maybe even coming onto your toes and work on moving your heart space forward. Maybe walking in your feet a little bit closer. We're only coming up for one round of wheels, so try and make it a good one. And then slowly, slowly lower all the way back down. Extend your legs up into the sky. Feel the connection of your lower back with the earth and then sway your knees over to the left. Gaze over your right shoulder. Breathe into your twist. Engage your core. Lift your knees back up through center and all the way over to the right side while gazing over your left shoulder. Maybe close your eyes here for a moment, find your breath. And then coming all the way back through center, grab hold of your knees and start drawing big circles with your knees, releasing any tension out of your lower back. And then grabbing hold of your knees, giving yourself a big, big squeeze and a nice hug. Inhale through your nose. On an exhale, crunch your shin all the way up towards your knees. And then release everything to find your Shavasana. You can extend your legs away from you. Rest your palms open to the sky. Relax your shoulders. 
Relax your face and your jaw, your eyebrows. Relax your whole body. Slowly increase the volume of your inhalations. Start waking the body up again, maybe giving yourself a nice stretch. And then rolling over onto your favorite side, find your way back to seated. Place both hands in front of your heart. Find a little gratitude for yourself and your yoga practice. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.